Welcome back to another episode of The Daily Threat, your daily dose of cybersecurity news and updates. We have a lineup of some alarming stories that highlight the ever-evolving landscape of cyber threats. So grab your coffee, buckle up, and let's dive right in. Our first story comes from Bleeping Computer, reporting on a new threat targeting Apple Silicon CPUs. Yes, you heard it right, Apple users, your devices are not immune. This latest attack, dubbed GoFetch, has the potential to steal crypto keys, which could spell disaster for anyone involved in cryptocurrency transactions. Now, how does this attack work, you might ask? Well, GoFetch takes advantage of a vulnerability in Apple Silicon's speculative execution mechanism. By exploiting this flaw, attackers can access sensitive data, including crypto keys, from the CPU's memory. And here's the kicker, since this attack operates at the hardware level, traditional security measures like antivirus software may not be effective in detecting or preventing it. So, what's the risk here for businesses and individuals? Imagine having your cryptocurrency wallet compromised, or worse, losing access to your digital assets entirely. The financial implications could be catastrophic. And for businesses, the loss of sensitive data could lead to regulatory fines, lawsuits, and irreparable damage to their reputation. So, what can you do to protect yourself? First and foremost, make sure your Apple devices are always up to date with the latest security patches. Additionally, consider implementing multi-factor authentication for your cryptocurrency accounts and storing your crypto keys in secure, offline storage when not in use. Moving on to our next story, we have the Hacker News reporting on a new phishing campaign targeting users with a malware strain called Strela Stealer. Phishing attacks are nothing new, but what sets this one apart is its sophistication and the potential damage it can cause. Strela Stealer is being distributed through malicious emails disguised as legitimate communications from trusted sources. Once a victim falls for the phishing lure and opens the malicious attachment or clicks on a malicious link, Strela Stealer springs into action, stealing sensitive information such as login credentials, financial data, and personal information. Now, you might be wondering, how can businesses and individuals protect themselves from falling victim to such attacks? Firstly, education is key. Train employees to recognize phishing attempts and emphasize the importance of verifying the authenticity of email communications, especially those containing attachments or links. Secondly, consider deploying email filtering solutions that can identify and block suspicious emails before they reach users' inboxes. And finally, make sure all systems are equipped with up-to-date antivirus software to detect and remove any malware that may slip through the cracks. Last but not least, we have another report from Bleeping Computer detailing two zero-day vulnerabilities in Mozilla Firefox that were recently exploited at the pwn 2 own hacking competition. Zero-day vulnerabilities are particularly concerning because they are unknown to the software vendor and therefore have no patch available at the time of discovery. In this case, the vulnerabilities allowed attackers to execute arbitrary code on a victim's system, potentially leading to full system compromise. While Mozilla has since released patches to address these vulnerabilities, the incident serves as a stark reminder of the constant cat and mouse game between hackers and software vendors. So, what's the takeaway here? Well, for starters, always keep your web browsers up to date with the latest security patches. Additionally, consider using browser extensions like NoScript to block potentially malicious scripts from running on web pages. And as always, exercise caution when clicking on links or downloading files from unfamiliar sources. And that's a wrap for today's episode of The Daily Threat. Remember, staying informed is the first line of defense against cyber threats. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for daily updates on the latest cybersecurity news and trends. And before we sign off, a big thank you to our sponsor, QIT Solutions, for their continued support in bringing you this valuable content. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you next time.